Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to follow up on our camera slider project. It's been actually a little, little while. So we started out this project actually using a standard uh, 28 BYJ-48 stepper, um, unipolar stepper, and uh, with the standard controller off an Arduino board. Well, this is the uh, CNC version, but off an Arduino board um, like this one. And the performance was just lackluster. Wouldn't It basically could not move this gantry hardly. Um, and you can see that the, the uh, you know, it's moving the iPhone back and forth pretty readily here. Uh, you, you, well, I, I should say the stock one couldn't. So what we have here is actually the modified one. If you have uh, seen the other videos on the modified, converting it from unipolar to bipolar, uh, it clearly now has the power to move the sled along with the iPhone and, and all that along the, the maker rail. So... Uh, definitely a big success in converting this over and generating the torque out. It, it's a little jerky. Part of the problem is this. Uh, th there's some slop in this um, uh, rail setting because the uh, the rail I modified from Thingiverse actually has the adjustments in the front where the belt goes, and in a future version I've modified it to put them in the back so it pulls forward. You can kind of see the wobble here. That, that's why it's wobbling a little bit, so I forgot to redo this. But the one thing I wanted to do was really test the um, uh, you know, ability of the motor to have the extra pull. Because, again, if you go back and watch the uh, videos I'm modifying the motor, basically we're doubling the torque output of the motor. And, or at least that's what's supposed to happen as we change this from a 5-wire to a 4-wire format. And uh, it does seem to work, so that is a good thing. So I've been very happy with this modification. Again, this motor has been running for like whew, uh, probably almost nearly an hour nonstop. It's not even hot. Running it off five volts. I can't remember the current. Um, I'm probably putting uh, pretty close an amp into the board, but I know it's not drawing anywhere near that much. So I'm running the uh, u utilizing the same. Uh, stepper controller uh, shield as I did for the uh, the other video just running inserted the motor inside the sled running it back and forth with the iPhone and stuff on so great little combination one of the things I'm really thinking about doing is coming up with a semi-commercial version of this uh, slider outfit you've probably seen some other videos where I've developed you know the legs which can mount um, developing a tripod mounting bracket for here we got the belt tensioners here, so uh, again, I think a lot of interesting stuff. And there seems to be a lot of interest on YouTube and the internet in general for cam camera sliders, and they are quite cool. Um, so uh, you know, if you're interested in, in one of these as a kit, so let me know in the the, the comments below, um, and I'll sort of take note of that because I'm just kind of interested how many uh, how much interest there is in something like this, selling it as a kit, you know. Because by the time you you know source the belts, the crazy number four size screws, the maker rail, you know print this, modify the motor. Again, I'm thinking if I put uh, together several kits, put them out on eBay or put them on the website, uh, you know people might be interested. I'm also thinking about doing a modified version of this, you know, because right now you can see this whole big wad of electronics. I'm thinking about uh, actually taking Arduino Nano and coming up with my own little H-bridge circuit and have everything mounted right on this this uh, 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 you know mechanism right on the rail that moves with the motor and so basically all, all you will have to do is run in um, you know basically five volts to the uh, Arduino and the board and it'll control everything so that's what I'm thinking about doing so it's one nifty little piece and then you mount this uh, 500 millimeter uh, track of maker rail onto a tripod and voila you have a um, low cost camera slider so that's what I'm thinking about doing uh, again um, thank you for your like below uh, it helps us produce more of these videos just simply by uh, clicking like it's not uh, not too big of a thing and uh, look forward to seeing the next video cheers